Good morning. Welcome to a little piece I'd like to sh call the Chronic Illness Fashion Show. But wait, there's more. I like to call that little number bracing for the pain. Then the overheating starts after the freezing. The morning freeze ends and the hot sweats begin because your hormones are all out of whack. So you go from freezing chills to hot sweats in a matter of moments. There is the overheated version of the uh, sweats outfit. Tank top with built-in support so that you don't have anything poking or stabbing you and setting off your pain. Um, still braced up, compression hosiery, ankle braces and supports matching uh, sweat shorts with your tank top can really class this look up. Um, and if you want to make it summer wear, you can add an expensive pair of um, orthopedic sandals. I don't think they'll fit over my cushions with these thick socks on. Terrific. Now, you might not feel comfortable going outside the house like this. So there's always the option of layering over your braced up self. With something simple. like a hoodie and no one knows the difference. If it's really hot, it might be too hot for such a thing. Um, remember, you get cold and hot for no apparent reason. And uh, the tights may be a bit much. You could always wear um, a pair of uh, skirt with it. <laughs> um, however, uh, comfort is king when it comes to chronic illness clothing. So um, unless it's a nice loose dress, um, skirts overrated for me. Um, compression hosiery always wins. You can go for skin tone, but at the moment I only own one pair. I need to order some more. So look, my invisible illness is invisible again. If I take my braces off, throw on a skirt, and a long shirt. No one knows the difference. Magically, I have an illness again because I have mobility aids or ability aids of any kind. You're magically um, sick, like a person who can't see. Taking off their glasses um, can suddenly see if anyone saw them. But the minute they have glasses on, you're like, oh, they've got vision problems. So maybe you feel more comfortable walking around like this. 
I've actually done it for a few hours already. Oh, but I think I'm leaving the upper back brace on. Um, and I think I'm going to take this off and put the other sandal on. That's actually more comfortable this morning. Look number two. It looks sporty. Athletic even. Although you are quite the opposite. Uh, force yourself to move at all. Option three. Just change the shorts from sweats to jeans. Put on a pair of supportive orthopedic shoes. And uh, you're ready for outdoor thing. Uh, public display. If you really are intimidated by your braces, which you shouldn't be, use what you need. They're aids for a reason. They aid us in doing more things. Um, you can smother yourself in muscle cream uh, and smell like Ben Gay. This look Usually I will wear with a pair of sneakers uh, without the ankle braces and um, tights and shorts make you look hip. I don't even know if people use the word hip anymore. <laughs> um, and just cover yourself in Ben Gay. So this special outfit has um, a scratch and sniff appeal. If you wish not to wear your supportive devices, um, you can just smell uh, funny, like a locker room. Uh, but you might be able to cover that with a lot of perfume. Option number four, I think. Chronic illness option four. I like to call this one pajamas all day, every day. It's the standard EE look. Now you can wear whatever pajamas are most comfortable for you. Um, sometimes I prefer the more constricting kind, like these uh, lovely skull, crossbone, and heart. Um, long underwear or you can wear something plush and soft I have a lot of those or um, a, a long t-shirt um, because much of the time you're not going anywhere anyway and sometimes uh, you go outside the house in in the um, PJs every day look so um, Find some super comfy and super cute. Super comfy being the key because comfort is king with chronic illness. Pajamas because quite likely uh, you will be leaving the house in them when you leave the house from time to time. So uh, make your leisure wear um, convertible. Notice I have not changed my top one time. That is not by chance. Um, it is not uncommon for chronically ill people not to have the energy to fussy and mussy themselves up. Um, and uh, even bathing can be a major chore. Um, so uh, rewearable reusable, interchangeable uh, fashion options, aces. Somewhere along the way of changing my clothes, I have lost my headband um, and I cannot find it and I have no longer have the energy to look for it any further. Um, this outfit I would like to call the uh, kind of it's quintessential needs the headband. Um, this is uh, yoga 
gear, one of my many yoga outfits from when I did yoga regularly. Um, this is a quintessential option for the chronically ill. Uh, I'd like to call it, uh, I look like I do yoga, uh, but I don't. <laughs> the ironically uh, comfortable, spandexy, breathable, soft and cottony, so many varieties of stretchy, non-pokey material. Uh, option that great iron irony can't talk yet this is the great irony outfit that um, many a chronically ill individual will rock a yoga outfit uh, and uh, just never do the yoga part And if you want to dress it up, select something big and flowy so that it doesn't constrict you in any kind of way, preferably made of something really soft and plush um, or cottony um, or um, silky so that it doesn't irritate your skin or constrict you in any kind of way and uh, is conciliatory for uh, and forgiving for various medical devices. Uh, you can continue to keep your uh, compression hosiery on, uh, especially if they match, if you really want to crank it up a notch. Um, let your compression hosiery match your dress. And a dress is fantastic. I used to be a tomboy and I would never wear dresses until I realized they're kind of like just throwing on a big t-shirt and walking out. You don't have to match your clothes. You don't have to think about it. <laughs> and it's difficult for us to think sometimes and wasting precious energy on matching clothing is pointless. So dresses for women or for um, men that prefer to dress as women uh, or identify as women is really convenient uh, because you um, basically just pull one thing out of your closet as long as it's suitable around your medical devices and your illness um, to your uh, preference of showing and uh, comfort level uh, that it's made of the right material. Comfort is king. Um, throw on some earrings. I have yet to brush my hair. I look like a little hippie. It's fine. Um, and, um, uh, you don't have to find socks, uh, you don't have to find anything, um, no matching anything, no wasted thinking, just pull, make sure when you purchase, you purchase something, uh, that is, covers what you need, looses you need, um, and comfortable, uh, for you. And all you got to do is just pull it over your head and you're done. And I said, if you really want to be fancy, you can match your compression stockings uh, to your dress of choice or and throw on any old pair of earrings and you're good. Um, the next option is called the invisible illness uh, option, uh, <laughs> making it truly invisible. And that would be uh, to take my hair down and uh, brush it in some fashion, slap on a little makeup, and uh, put on my uh, ergonomic <laughs> physiotherapy required shoes. And this lovely little number, turns out I didn't even have to undo my hair or brush it or anything. I just took the headband off and it matched with the bohemian 
hippie look. It's a good look for chronic illness. Um, usually typically loose flowy clothing that is really comfortable. Um, and slap on a little makeup. Put my heels on and I could wear um, standard leg colored compression hosiery with this. Um, complete with a beautiful little side bag or handbag, preferably whatever is more comfortable for you. It could be a fanny pack for all that it matters. Um, the fancier you look, the more invisible your invisible illness will be. Um, perfect carrier for all of your necessary to go medications that you have to take frequently um, and can't leave the house without and other medical devices like your pulse oximeter, etc. And uh, I like to call this look, but you don't look sick. The final ensemble of our uh, chronic illness fashion show. Keep in mind, I have not bathed, <laughs> brushed my hair. or taken off half of the things I slept in. But I could walk out the door right now in this lovely little summer dress and a little makeup on my face and uh, blend right in. So um, this piece is the, but you don't look sick. option for a chronic illness attire. I hope you enjoyed.